Hello and welcome to this edition of Ask the Expert. I'm Matthias, Industry Manager, E-Mobility and Lead Expert for Electrified Powertrain and E-Drive Laser Applications. I would like to briefly introduce where and how our lasers are used in the processing chain of hairpin design E-Drives. In this overview of the E-Drive processing chain and highlighted by the laser beam icon, you can get an idea about the opportunities for laser applications for various tasks like cleaning, hardening, cutting and welding for the steel, copper and aluminum materials in use. Among all the possibilities, contacting of the hairpin windings has become the signature laser application. As a welding preparation, the enamel or isolation coating of the pins will be removed during the forming process. For that, we have developed a laser decoding system based around our high power nanoseconds pulse lasers, which make use of a scalable multi optics arrangement in order to meet the typical sub second duration processing speeds, as well as the per meter sets for all typical coating types. After going through the pre-assembly, the stator finally enters the weld stations. As there is typically a high number of precision welds to be carried out and to assure any of them is executed correctly, we're using imaging or direct measuring sensor systems and combine them with our artificial intelligence algorithms to determine the pin location prior to welding. Each pin will be fully measured and stored individual to the weld position before the welding starts, so it is a 100% quality assurance. In hairpin design and copper welding, it is all about tuning the energy input during the welding to the right level. A typical weld for connecting the single hairpin wires can be seen in this high-speed video. We're using a highly dynamic PFO scanning optics and a TrueDisc Brightline weld or single spot laser in order to realize the individual weld path strategies which are designed to incorporate high power density laser spots in order to quickly generate the copper mail pool and the capability of carrying out suitable trajectories which are needed to scale the size of the weld area to the wire cross section generating the final weld volume and to control the energy input throughout the joining process. A typical hairpin weld like this one here takes around 100 milliseconds. In general, the minimum welding time needed is given by the wire cross section. The final stator consists of several hundred hairpin welds carried out in sequence, plus the connections of the bus bars which connect the motor to the electric power train. If you're interested in this or other electrified drivetrain applications, I'd like to invite you to get in touch with us to discuss your specific application in detail. Thanks for watching this episode of Ask the Expert.